Amy Brule was a free-spirited woman who lived and loved life and shared that with all those around her. She was the model mother who was deeply involved with her kids. She was up in the morning, made breakfast, they had activities, they, did, they came home for lunch, she'd have dinner ready for them, she'd put them down to bed. She was the disciplinarian, she was the event coordinator, she was the educator, she was the baseball mom, the soccer mom, she was the soccer coach, the scorekeeper, she, you know, the consummate mother. She also had an impactful career as a school teacher that began many years ago as a curious parent. She started hanging out at the on campus with some of the other moms and within a matter of several months, I, I believe it was, she got sucked up into the school. I mean, she, she was there hanging out and the next thing you know, she's a Title I tutor. And so she's teaching kids who are a little bit behind for one reason or another, teaching them how to read and, and giving them that gift. And that was, you know, what she thrived for. She always found the gift in the child. And there would be kids that I would just say, I would throw myself off a bridge. And she would just get it. And she would find, she would dig a little deeper than a lot of people do and find a little more patience and just get them to open up. And she was really able to do that with every child. As a teacher, she exposed her kids to new things that included live animals, world cultures, and even a bit of music. She always had music in her classroom. And she would play it so loud in the morning. I'd be like, Amy, you know, we're the teachers now. I don't think we should do that. She's like, Barb, it gets them all fired up. It gets their energy. I was like, okay. Half of this music is Amy's, and we use it every day, during the day, at the end of the day. Anytime, you know, we need to celebrate something. We have a great time with that. There's a lot of talk in education these days about how we're not only educating, but we're babysitting and we're socializing and we're social working. And Amy just took that all under. You know, if there was a kid who was coming to school without their PE shoes, Amy brought a pair of PE shoes because she didn't want that to get in the way of that child's learning. She just was, I'm just going to fix it. And it might have been a hand-me-down pair from her daughter Molly. You know, it wasn't like she went out to the store and just spent money and bought it. She just took care of it. Um, and the kids always felt taken care of. Today, Amy's memory lives on in the memorial built by her family, friends, and students at Lonnie Kai Elementary School. Her classroom was her haven, and she obviously doesn't have a classroom anymore, so we made this place, and there are always kids here. There are little groups that meet with the counselor here. The sixth grade always eats their lunch out here. Um, on the anniversary of her passing, we had a huge celebration out here. And it was just, just so great. Um, you know, being outside was something really important to Amy. And um, it just is such a beautiful place. Every set of, of students that she had, there were several parents that would come to her during the year or probably even after the year and just say, you changed my child's life last year. For Amy Brule, her life could be easily summed up in three words. Live, love, learn is her legacy. You know, live your life. Be free. And have that free spirit to, to do. Um, love those around you. Care about people. Express it. Do something about it. And above all, learn. Learn, learn how to read. Learn how to do your math. Learn from your mistakes. Just learn.